What's up guys? So right now we're just uh, climbing the Great Wall of China over here with a few people over here. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we're uh channel. Hey. And yeah, we just we just started this uh, hike and there's a lot of people as you can see over here but um, Yeah. I'm actually really excited. It's getting pretty hot out here so um, Yeah, I'm hoping the weather cools down a bit. And soon entering the And as per usual, a lot of people. A lot of people. <laughs> okay. See you on the top, guys. So right now I'm at the Forbidden City in China. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of people, but you can clearly see that there's a lot of history associated with this because um, the Forbidden City is actually the place where um, the Qing Emperor established its um, territory and basically this is the place where all the action happened. So the Emperor during the Qing Dynasty and also the Ming Dynasty actually lived here. So. It's really a good place to check it out and when you actually enter the building, the building itself smells like ancient, you know, like ancient artifacts. It smells like ancient wood. You can actually really experience the ancient and the culture inside the building. So I highly recommend coming to uh, Beijing to uh, go to the Forbidden City. There's so many people here, it's not even funny. Like, actually, look at the amount of people trying to take a picture. Whoa, just, just everyone behind me here is just all trying to get a picture of that, you know, uh, thing in the, in the back. But, you know, clearly, it's just so hard to just get a right picture. Actually, I'm standing in the middle of it, but I feel guilty, so I'm just gonna like move out of the way right now. But yeah, as you can see, when you go into China and in a special tourist place like this, you'll experience a large crowd of people just trying to get a picture. And sometimes these people don't actually move around, so sometimes you might just have to respectfully tell them to get out of the way.
So right now I'm just riding my bike over here and as I am riding my bike, I'm passing this uh, campus gate over here. So right now we're uh, here at this random place and uh, yeah, we're uh, just riding the four-wheel bike. This is a similar experience in Taiwan except there was only like, um, basically, last time it was only two people but this time with four people so like with more people, uh, you know, it's more better. But yeah, you can just so look at the view over here, it's really nice. Just uh, riding along the lake. So yeah, if you ever come to Beijing, I highly recommend coming to uh, Yanqing to uh, just ride a bike in this lake. I don't even know what this lake is called, but... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Park. Yeah, 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 Park. Yeah, 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 Park. Highly recommend it.
End of uh, my trip uh, to Beijing. Uh, two weeks in Tsinghua went by really fast, and I'm really grateful for all the friends that I made. And I hope in the future, if anyone uh, goes to China, make sure you uh, apply for these short-term summer programs because you make really close friends within a short period of time. But you also get to learn a lot from people. So yeah, definitely the learning experience was great. And yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Anyways, guys. I'm gonna be in Vancouver soon, so I guess this is the end of the Asia trip. Peace, guys.